What's up guys, today we're going to talk about one-way doors. One-way doors are exactly what they sound like. They are doors that can open one way, but not the other. Why are they so useful in FLL? They are extremely helpful in collecting things, because once an object passes through the door, it cannot come out. In addition, one-way doors can collect things without using motors, which saves your motors for other missions. Here's what I mean. As the robot moves forward, the red object passes through the one-way door. After it passes through the door, it cannot come out, even when the robot is moving backwards. Here's another example. Let's build some one-way doors. First, let's build a one-way door that can help you collect objects that have these loops on them. Here are the pieces we'll need. Let's start by taking a 3x5 L-beam. We'll take two of these long blue pins and insert them here and here. Next, we'll connect a 5-beam onto these two blue pins. Let's take another blue pin and put it here. We'll connect another 3x5 L-beam onto this blue pin like this, and we'll insert a black pin here. Let's take a 3x5 L-beam and connect it onto all of these pins like that. Last, let's build the door part. Let's take a frictionless pin and insert it right here. And then we'll connect our door, another 3x5 L-beam, right here, like that. And so now, we can see that when an object passes through, it can't come out. After attaching the one-way door to the robot, all the robot has to do is move forward to collect the item. Now let's build a one-way door that can help you collect items from the ground and bring them back to base. Here are the pieces you'll need. First, let's take this 7 axle and take this axle connector and connect those two on one side. And then let's take a 5 beam and thread it through this hole right here. Let's take a spacer next and slide it on like that. Another 5 beam and thread it through this same hole. Another spacer. Another 5 beam. And last but not least, another one of these axle connectors. Next, let's take these axle pins and insert them into the axle connectors on each side. Next, let's make the box that we will use to hold the objects we collect. Let's start with one of these pieces and insert two pins here and here. Next, let's take a 5 beam and slide it onto the pins. After that, let's take two more of these black pins and insert them there and there. Let's take this frame and connect it like that. We'll take two more pins, insert them here and here. And then we'll take another 5 beam and slide it on here. Oops. Um, let's take two more of these black pins and insert them here. After that, let's take what we just built and insert one side in there like that. And then we'll take another one of these walls and just close it off like that. Let's finish this off by putting pins here and here. And then we'll take an 11 beam and connect it to these pins like this. This beam is what prevents the doors from opening a certain way. 
So when we take our object, and we can see that it can go through, but it can't come out. This one-way door works just like the other one. All the robot has to do is move forward to collect the object. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. See you next time.